Good morning, thank you for tuning in to your Daily Wallops weather briefing for Monday, August 19th. For today and the next couple of days, we are going to be seeing some very hot and humid conditions out there with uh, heat index values above 100 degrees. Going to be seeing dry conditions today with uh, higher chances of seeing some pop-up showers and storms tomorrow. And then as we go towards uh, later in the week, we're going to see those uh, shower and storm chances increase further. Taking a look at our surface analysis this morning, we do have uh, just some weak high pressure across the mid-Atlantic. Uh, and that's going to help to give us some... Um, some uh, mostly sunny skies will go throughout the day. Going to be seeing a slight chance of a shower thunderstorm across northern portions of the Del Mar this afternoon. Uh, only seeing about 5% or less less of uh, seeing anything here at Wallops as we got uh, some good subsidence in place, but it is going to continue to be very hot and humid. Already seeing those heat index values as of right now up into the upper 90s, and they will continue to climb as we go throughout the, the rest of the morning and into the afternoon hours. Taking a brief look at our upper level winds, seeing those uh, winds uh, south, southwesterly at the surface, then just above the surface they are westerly around 10 to 15 knots, and then uh, running about uh, westerly to west northwesterly across the remainder of the column with a fairly light flow only running around uh, 5 to 10 knots at the 12,000 feet, and then 15 to 20 knots between 16 and 25,000 feet. Seeing that freezing level this morning uh, just below uh, 14,000 feet. Taking a look at our uh, forecast here today, going to be seeing that high around 92 degrees. We are seeing those winds a little bit more uh, southerly versus southwesterly as uh, the models are indicating. So that will help to keep a uh, knock a degree or two off of our high temperatures um, we were, uh, than we were seeing earlier this morning. So expecting a high of 92 degrees, but still going to be seeing those heat index values rise above 100 this afternoon. Winds are going to increase from the south west to south southwest at 8 to 13 knots as we go uh, towards this afternoon then becoming um 6 to 11 knots after sunset and into the overnight hours winds will then shift more westerly in the pre-dawn hours of tuesday with a very muggy low expected tomorrow morning of 77 degrees as we go to, uh, take a look at our terminal forecast we are going to be seeing um just a few clouds at 500 feet as we go toward this afternoon, possibly a few serious clouds as well, uh, continuing to see mostly sunny skies throughout the day um, and into this evening, just a few at uh, 6,000 and a few at 25,000 as we go into a sunset this evening, and that's going to basically remain the same in the overnight hours and into a early morning Tuesday, just seeing maybe a slight increase in our upper level cirrus, seeing tides just slightly above normal along the Delmarva Atlantic coast this morning. Taking a look at our satellite, you can see we have uh, those mostly clear skies across the region this morning. There was a little bit of uh, cloudiness around 500 feet there off uh, closer to our nation's capital. That's Even that's kind of dissipating as it moves um, closer to our, our area. We do have this weak uh, low well to the east of the region, and that is also what's helping to give us a little bit more subsidence across the uh, Del Marva, helping to give us these mostly sunny skies and uh, these uh, very hot conditions that we are expected to uh, continue to see today along with those humid conditions as well. So keep in mind of that uh, heat index value as we go uh, towards the late morning hours and into the afternoon today. That heat index value, like I mentioned, is going to also remain uh, pretty dangerous as we go throughout the next couple of days as well. Taking a brief look into the next uh, few days here. We are going to be seeing uh, that high pressure remain in control. We are throughout uh, the next couple of days continuing to give us uh, some hot conditions. We're going to see that moisture actually increase as we go throughout the day tomorrow. That's going to help to ramp up our shower and thunderstorm chances um, for uh, tomorrow with those pop-up storms. And then uh, seeing a little lull in the action as we go towards Wednesday, uh, only seeing around a 20% chance. So looking at our seven-day forecast, uh, going to be partly cloudy, hot, and humid today. Tomorrow, looking at a little bit of an increase in chances for pop-up showers and storms in the afternoon, around 30%. Still looking at that high of 91 for both Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday looks like a little bit less chance of seeing any pop-up showers or storms, only around a 20% chance. We'll also be seeing a slight chance uh, continuing into Tuesday night as well. Then Thursday, we are going to be seeing a front approach the area. It is going to remain dry uh, throughout the morning hours on Thursday. Then as we go towards the early afternoon, seeing a slight chance of a, a pop-up shower or storm ahead of that front. But it does look like once we get into Thursday 
and uh, Friday we are going to be seeing those uh, rain chances really ramp up to about 70% as that front impacts the area, uh, bringing some uh, heavy thunderstorms to the region. Uh, those look like the whole, the entire uh, Delmarva will be impacted by thunderstorm chances uh, as we go into Thursday night and Friday. As we go into Friday through the weekend, we are going to be we are seeing the models diverge a bit as to exactly what that uh, front does once it um, crosses the region. Some models still have the front kind of hanging up across the uh, mid-Atlantic as we go into Friday, so uh, still a little bit of a question mark on how high our uh, precipitation chances are on Friday. Right now, it looks like we'll at least be seeing a chance of some of that shower and thunderstorm activity lingering in the Friday morning, and then that front gets uh, pushed southward drawn in some drier air behind it but there is a chance we could see that uh, front linger a little bit longer prolonging our shower and thunderstorm chances throughout the day friday so that will be something we'll have to keep an eye on uh, the how far south that front pushes friday through sunday is also going to have a, a impact on our temperatures if they're going to remain warmer and uh, more humid or we're going to start to see things dry out and get some cooler temperatures and right now went with a little bit of a blend of what the models are showing uh, with temperatures into the upper 70s for Saturday and Sunday. Saturday does look to be like a beautiful day as we get some drier air moving in. That'll help to give us just some partly cloudy to perhaps mostly sunny skies. And then uh, Sunday looks like uh, we are going to be seeing uh, some cooler temperatures uh, even compared to Saturday, but east it does look like we're going to get some onshore flow increasing across the area, and that will help to uh, increase our cloud cover across the region for Sunday. That'll do it for your daily weather briefing. We'll be back at 10 at uh, 8:15 a.m. and at 10 a.m. tomorrow have a great day